a landlocked country in Southeast Asia, hosting a colorful history and even more colorful people, let us take a trip into the wild lands of the Lao people, where Buddhism prospers to this day. Welcome to Laos. The story of Laos begins with the Lao prince Fa Ngum, who founded Lanshang, the first Laotian state in Angkor. From 1353 to 1371, he was able to expand the territories of this up-and-coming kingdom, which included what is now Laos and northern and eastern Thailand. He also helped extend the Khmer civilization, a consequence of which was the introduction of Theravada Buddhism to the Laotian people. Pha Ngum was succeeded by his son, Un Huyun, who was able to expand on the defenses and the administration of the kingdom. A long peace would come after his death in 1416. However, territorial disputes still occurred every so often. This peace was broken by the ruler Pothisarath, who involved the kingdom in wars against Myanmar and the Siamese kingdom of Ayutthaya for two centuries. When King Pothisarath died, he was succeeded by his son, Sethathirat, who established Buddhism as the most proliferant religion in the kingdom of Lanzang in the 16th century. The kingdom would eventually decline in the 17th century. This was due to a number of factors, but the biggest culprit was the kingdom's conflict with its neighboring kingdom states. By the 18th century, Siam was able to establish its hegemony over the entirety of the territory, in what is now present-day Laos. It was divided into three principalities, namely Luang Prabang, Vientiane, and Champasak. The Siamese expansion towards Vietnam and Luang Prabang provoked French protests who had already established a protectorate in Vietnam. In 1886, France managed to install a vice-consul in Luang Prabang under Auguste Pavier, who was able to convince the Laotian population to side with the French. The French were eventually able to annex Laos thanks to different treaties with Siam around 1904 and 1907. The French established a new protectorate in Laos centered on Vientiane and gave it autonomy. When Laos was invaded by the Japanese during the Second World War, the French Vichy government was forced to restore Thai territories that were taken by the French in 1904. By 1945, Japan had full administrative control over Laos. Two movements started during this period, one anti-Japanese, another anti-French. They were at odds with each other. Eventually, France allowed the Laotian Kingdom limited autonomy under the French Union. During the First Indochina War, tired of French interference in local affairs, Prince Sufanu Vong proclaimed a new political movement called the Pathet Lao or Land of the Lao in 1950. They joined the Viet Minh in fighting against French occupation until the Geneva Peace Conference in 1954 where they were able to achieve independence, albeit for a time. After the Geneva Accords, the French control over most of mainland Southeast Asia ended. It was agreed upon that Laos would still be under the royal government without any partitioning of the country. However, the country became divided under communist and royalist forces. Hostilities broke out between these factions until another convention in Geneva in May 1961 resulted in an agreement wherein Laos's neutrality was called for. American and Vietnamese presence forced Laos to play a role in the Second Indochina War. It became one of the most bombed countries in the entire world. 1972 gave birth to the Lao People's Revolutionary Party joining a coalition government in 1973. Continuous communist victories in mainland Vietnam and Laos rallied the anti-royalist forces, and by 1975, the king abdicated from his throne, ending a 600-year-old monarchy. The Lao People's Revolutionary Party became the main power in Laos, guiding the country's politics until today. 
The newly established republic was called the Laos People's Democratic Republic. The 1990s brought about rapid economic growth for Laos, being assisted by Japan, Western Europe, Australia, and other nations. By 1994, a bridge was constructed connecting Laos with Thailand, which ushered in new trading opportunities. In 1997, Laos became a full-fledged member of ASEAN. The current GDP of Laos is valued at $15 billion. With a highly agricultural economy, Laos relies on agri-produce. However, it still heavily remains dependent on foreign aid and investment. The top agricultural products of Laos are cassava, root vegetables, rice, sugarcane, vegetables, bananas, maize, rubber, coffee, and watermelons. Despite its economy, Laos also has heavy industries including, but not limited to, mining, copper, tin, gold, gypsum, timber, electric power, agricultural processing, rubber, construction, garments, and cement. It also has a growing tourism industry. The Laos flag is one of the rare communist flags without the depiction of a star. It consists of three stripes, two red and one blue, with a disc in the middle. The red stripes symbolize spilled by the revolutionaries, the blue stripe represents wealth. The white disc represents the moon rising over the Mekong River and being united under communist rule. Laos has a total landmass of around 237,000 square kilometers, or 92,000 square miles. The capital of Laos is Vientiane. One of the most famous rivers in the world can be found in Laos, the Mekong River, which is also the lowest point in the country. The highest point of Laos is Pubia, which stands 2,800 meters above sea level, or 9,200 feet. Laos, being part of mainland Southeast Asia, has a tropical climate. The maximum average temperature for the entirety of the country is 31 degrees Celsius or 81 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lowest average temperature is 22 degrees Celsius or 72 degrees Fahrenheit. Laos has a total population of around 8 million inhabitants, 53% of whom are of Lao descent. Other indigenous groups make up the population which include the Khmu, Hmong, Puthe, Thai, and several others. The government of Laos officially recognizes 49 ethnic groups. However, the demonym for all indigenous groups fall under the Laotian umbrella. The official language of Laos is Lao, with the second languages being French and English. The primary religion of Laos is Buddhism, with around 65% of the population adhering to the religion. While the majority of the population is religious, around 31% do not belong to any religious group or denomination. Let's talk about food. Here are some famous dishes from Laos that will surely sate your appetite and give you a glimpse into Laotian culture. First, we have cow new, sticky rice cooked in a thin cow or rice basket, which is a staple at every meal and a key element of Laotian dining. Next, we have mu hang, and sien hang, sun-dried pork and sun-dried beef respectively. These snacks are often enjoyed as street food and are a testament to the Laotian tradition of preserving meats. For those looking for a lighter option, there is tam muk muang, or green mango salad, which combines the tangy freshness of green mango with tomatoes, garlic, and cashews. This dish is popular for its refreshing and zesty flavors. Lastly, we have naim kao, or crispy coconut rice, made from shredded coconut, pork, and rice. This dish is enjoyed for its unique texture and rich flavors, often served during festive occasions and family gatherings. Here are some famous people from Laos, some of them you might recognize from the history books. Suvana Fuma, who became Prime Minister of Laos on numerous occasions. Who could forget Sethathirath? one of the best-known leaders in Laotian history. And for the football enthusiasts, some of you may be familiar with Visay Papuvanin, 
a striker for the Laotian national football team. Lastly, we also have Fa Ngum, the legendary founder of the Kingdom of Lan Shang, the foundation of present-day Laos. If you enjoyed this video on Laos, you'll love this next one.